voila the red tab it popped finally and when I use the temperatures it's at 190 so it looks like it's a success I'm so proud of myself it looks like it's juicy it looks like it's not dry hopefully not dry inside as well but it's so beautiful I'm so proud of myself so this is the first time that I baked turkey for Thanksgiving so we'll be ready soon I'm gonna be uh, doing the the stuffing muffin next and baking some cookies and uh, doing the the cranberry sauce and I would like to have some beets as well a traditional Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving everyone enjoy have a blessed one one great thing to have for moms out there is this vacuum cleaner. It's a robot vacuum cleaner. So while I'm baking my turkey and doing my dessert baking, my cookies and everything for Thanksgiving, it's cleaning up for me. So it's, it's cleaning up on its own so I don't have to worry about it. So hint hint for those of you kids out there, this is a great gift for moms for Thanksgiving or during the holidays at Christmas. All right. And Thanksgiving morning, typically, we also watch the Thanksgiving parade. That's the Macy's Thanksgiving parade in New York. That's a part of our traditional Thanksgiving here in the United States as well. Scene 2 opens in theaters December 22nd. You can see it early this Saturday. In That's the Today Show. Savannah, I know your friends and family saw this. Yeah, we loved it. Savannah and Hoda. Right now. It's wonderful. The incredible cast includes Bono, Matthew McConaughey, Reese Witherspoon, Scarlett Johansson, Halsey, Pharrell. And the stars of this film recorded a holiday classic, and you are about to hear it in the world premiere of this exclusive short film from Illumination, the sister company of NBC and Xfinity, called Come Home, which will be the centerpiece for the Xfinity's new holiday Sounds campaign. like that's going to be a good one to watch for the holidays. Okay, so now, while the turkey's still baking, we're going to go ahead and start baking or preparing our um, chocolate chunk cookies. So I'm going to be using Christie's triple chocolate chunk cookie mix so this has three different kinds of chocolate so this is going to be good and i know that my in-laws love this before so we're going to be uh taking this to my in-laws this afternoon when we go there for our late lunch early dinner and then we're going to be coming back here to our house to uh spend thanksgiving dinner uh night with uh my family the filipino tradition so with my in-laws thanksgiving it's going to be the american tradition and then We'll do the Filipino tradition of Thanksgiving in the United States, which is similar to the U.S. tradition, except that sometimes we add some Filipino food as well. Okay, so let's get this going. So all we need here is one egg and then one stick, one half, one half cup butter, and that's all we need. So this should be really fast. So it's just in there that. We'll need to um, open up my, um, my mix first. So I'm putting the entire mix into my bowl and then we're going to add one piece of egg, that's all we need. And then we're going to try to just kind of mix that up. There's no water required in here because I thought that was kind of odd that there's no water required. But it's just one egg, one cup butter only. So we're going to stir the egg, butter, cookie mix until dough forms. Hand kneading if necessary. Scoop dough and place into um, into the baking sheet. So that's all we need. So I thought that this might become too, 
to dry if there's no water but we're following the, the instructions and um, this this is in equivalent to one half cup of butter which is a tablespoon and that's what we're going to be using so this was really frozen earlier um, I thought it out I just left it outside and so it should be uh, it should be good now for mixing and we're just gonna keep on mixing it on mixing it until it forms into a dough. It's gonna take me a while to mix it up. So we, we just kept mixing it until it's now stiff, right? And it formed into a dough. So this is now ready to go into our baking tray, right? So this is supposed to make at least 18 to 23 uh, cookies if we use one tablespoon so let's try to do that now so I have this tray and I'm kind of gonna spray it first with you can spray it with with anything that you use for baking so this one I'm using a canola oil but you can basically use anything you can even use butter if that's easier for me for you but for me it's easier to just use this just so it doesn't burn and then I'll use one tablespoon and I'm just gonna line it up so I'll just line it up in our tray one at a time so one spoon is what I'm using and I'm just lining up in our tray. So this is supposed to make 23 cookies all in all. And just you just continue the same process until it's full, until you got everything in your cookie sheet, and then it's ready to go to the oven. So once it's ready to go to the oven, this Christie's box says you have to do it 18 to 23 pieces of cookies is one round tablespoon and you have to bake it between 8 to 10 minutes and the oven has to be preheated 375 degrees and once it's ready to go we're gonna put it in the oven okay so the ovens now let's see the ovens now at 375 degrees and I've opened up the door so let's go ahead and and do and move our cookie sheets and put it in the oven. Gonna put it in the oven right now. So I made, I think, 18 of them. Six times three. I've made 18 of them instead of 23 because it's a little bigger. But I wanted to make sure that they're spaced out too, so they're kind of be not sticking together once it's done. So let's close this. 375. And I'm gonna set up the timer to, it says eight to 10 minutes. So let's do 10 minutes and we'll start it. And we'll see how it works. Uh, all right. It's been almost 10 minutes. So let's see the cookies. And it looks like they are done and they smell really good. This one didn't separate. Oh, it looks like they are done. Yummy. So I let the cookies sit for a couple of minutes. And this is our completed baked cookies with three different kinds of chocolate. So let's now try it. And let's see. It looks really good. You'll see the chocolates inside. And it looks really, really yummy. Enjoy, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers to this yummy cookie. And I've got more cookies to bake. This time I used Betty Crocker's peanut butter cookie mix. 
This one used one tablespoon of water, one egg also like the other cookies I made earlier, with three tablespoons of vegetable oil. So they're ready to go. Just waiting for the oven to get up to 350 degrees. So this could be 375 or 350. This time I chose uh, 350. And the oven's now at 350. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our cookie sheets. Our cookie sheet, actually, there's only one. So here it goes. The cookie sheet is in, cookies are there. And we're gonna set this up for a timer for 10 minutes and start and we'll be right back with our cookies and 10 minutes is almost up we only have 13 seconds left 11 seconds left and this cookie should be done five four three two one so let's go ahead and check the cookies yay and it looks like they are done so we're going to go ahead and take the cookies out of the oven. And we're done with this peanut butter cookies for Thanksgiving. 